Hey y'all, welcome back to Ascending with Ashley. I'm Ashley. Uh, this is a daily decolonizing. This is specifically for white folks, <clears throat> especially white folks who have some sort of other uh, oppressed identity. Um, here's the story. I live in a very small town, like I'm talking 5,000 folks. Remember Friday I told you that I put on Facebook that we were doing the art space um, free in solidarity with like the global strike? Because I don't believe that even though you live in a small town, I mean, I lived all over though, so I guess I don't really understand what it means to like live in a small town and never go anywhere. I guess maybe I should check myself for that. However, I believe probably because I have lived all over the place that just because you live in a small town doesn't mean that you're like exempt from the world around you okay uh also if you're white it doesn't mean that you're exempt from the world around you and if you're a white person living in a small town even if you have an oppressed identity for instance the trans person that I talked to at the grocery store today because I was really hoping that I could find someone else in town to talk to about Palestine and I said hey are you pro-Palestinian? They said, what is that? They said, what is that? And I said, oh, you're not familiar with what's going on? Okay, never mind. And went back to the deli to buy some really yummy pasta salads because it's Mother's Day and that's what I'm doing today. But um, that was shocking. Anyway, there were three people that liked my post in Facebook, which was better than the zero that were there for most of the weekend and i'm pretty sure that um at least two of them are indigenous folks so that's good at least i have a place to start with finding community um but i just wanted to share because if you're a white person and if you are you know not heteronormative not cis not uh you know i just don't understand why you're not in the fight but this person has grown up in this small town and hasn't really been all around the world so i don't know but i also want to say that if you live in a small town that doesn't mean that you are exempt from being a part of the global community like you know gaza strip is really small like really small